Well, hello there, ladies and gentlemen. Welcome back to another episode of Let's Play Roller Coaster Tycoon. Uh, I have decided to open up the rest of our park here. Uh, I'm currently putting trash cans, and I'm about to hire some handymen, and then I'm going to open up this portion of our park. It's not that much bigger. It's not going to add that much more real estate to our park. Uh, so I'm not too worried about our guests, you know, not being able to find the way back or any of that stuff. So... I wanted to do what I mentioned in the very first episode and connect up these two islands. Um, I think that will help a lot with traffic flow. Um, actually, let me get my handyman on here first. Uh, we'll do another four for this island. I think that's fine. Um, but yeah, I hope everyone had a good Labor Day weekend. I forgot to mention that uh, when it was actually Labor Day weekend. Uh, but yeah, uh, on my way, I, last night I went uh, to a movie with my mom and then went back to her place and she cooked dinner and it was a nice weekend. Uh, but on my way back home, I actually got pulled over. Uh, and that, regardless of if I've done anything wrong or if I think I've done anything wrong, um, I always freak out. <laughs> I think most people do. It's not uncommon. Uh, but I got pulled over last night going down a road that I have never seen a cop on in my life. Uh, and I drive it almost daily anytime I need to go anywhere. Um, but I got pulled over and it wasn't a huge deal. Uh, my, what is it? The light, uh, for my license plate, uh, was out. Uh, there's not much I can do about that. Um, the woman who pulled me over, uh, it was a female officer. She said, oh, you know, your, your light's out. And I was like, oh, you know, thank you for letting me know. I had no idea. She's like, yeah, most people don't drive behind themselves, so they never get to really see that. And I was like, fair point. That is very true. I have never driven behind myself. So uh, as soon as I finish recording this, I'm going to edit it, start uh, rendering it out. And as soon as I get it rendered, or as soon as I start rendering it, oh, I just replaced the bench with a trash can. Uh, as soon as I start rendering it, I am off to uh, probably... Uh, what's the name of the store? AutoZone, I think, uh, to get a new part for it. I plan on fixing it myself. I like to be somewhat handy when it comes to my car, uh, at least as of as of lately. I put in a new uh, speaker system by myself. Uh, I've also, I've also uh, replaced a headlight, a tail light. Uh, my windshield wiper is not that that's difficult to do, but I'm going to try to replace my license plate light as well. So that'll be new for me. And we just received an award for having the park with the best staff. I don't know if we've received that award yet, but I like it. Uh, let's go ahead and build another um, food court area over here. I wanted to do one per island, so we're going to stick to that. And we'll do it right here. And then I just remembered we got the fried stall last time. So we can go ahead and build one of those. Oh man, I've got a sneeze coming on. Oh, I don't want it to happen. Normally I do. Just not when I'm recording. <laughs> oh, okay, I think it's gone. Okay, and then we'll do soda there. Information kiosk so people don't get lost because they will. And then... We had this color, I believe. We'll open that up. And then I'm going to do a couple uh, bathrooms on this island. Probably just... No, I'll continue doing two per island. We'll do one right here. This island's actually fairly small. Um, but it's still bigger than the first one we uh, built on, Slender Island. But yeah, I've got a couple things planned for this episode. Uh, so if I'm moving kind of quickly, it's because I want to make sure I have enough time to get to everything. Uh, $1.50 is fine. And we'll go ahead and add a fry stall at each one. I wanted to do some decoration since I said I would be doing uh, the decoration of each park or of each island as I went. Uh, and now that we have all three open, we need to uh, actually do that. So we're going to do a little bit of terraforming here in a sec. And then, oh man, we've lost a little money since doing that, or wall building all those. That's okay. Uh, we're going to do a little ter terraforming, and hopefully it's not so much terraforming that... Why is no one writing this? Whatever. 
Uh, hopefully it's not too much terraforming that it bankrupts us. Um, come on, guys. Do your job better. Thank you. And that's even one of the guys that... Slender Island Front, is he covering this? Maybe I do need to have that exit highlighted. Otherwise, that mechanic would have been probably closer than that guy. Um... Oops. Okay, anyway, what I was saying, hopefully I have enough money to terraform or do the terraforming I want uh, while still having enough money to build a ride. Because I do think I want to turn this island into kind of a, a pirate theme. I know this a pirate's life for me is over here by itself. I'm not going to move it, but that's kind of what gave me the idea to do that. So I mentioned early on I wanted this area to be... Oh, let me do sand. Um, okay. I don't know how exactly I want to do this, but I think it's going to be... I think it's going to come out nice. I've never really done this before. Uh, just terraforming for the sake of terraforming. I think it looks kind of cool. And yeah, we don't want that to be water. There we go. And then... I'm okay with it being somewhat rigid right now. Because it gets kind of expensive doing one tile uh, on the edges here to make it look... I don't know if... Like this at an angle where it's smooth. Uh, it gets pretty expensive to do that. So I'm going to leave it like that for now. And we're going to add a couple... Not footpath... Actually... Yeah, we will do one footpath going... No. I'm not going to have any rides there. I don't need footpaths there. Um, I do want some palm trees, though. Because I think that's going to make this area look a little bit more tropical. And I wish we had some... I don't know if any of these look tropical. Not really. Um... Maybe just some of these kind of shrubs that kind of look wild. Uh, I don't know. That's not bad. I kind of like that. If, if you imagine any movie where someone washes up on the beach and they they have to go up through a dirt path. Which, now that I think about it, um, I think that does look good. Probably do a couple close together to make it look kind of built up. I think that looks good, though. I like it. So we got a little beach area there. Uh, was there anywhere else I wanted to add a beach? That's fine. It's not really big enough to do much with. Um, let's connect this up. I think that would look kind of good. So again, we select our sand. And then it also makes that look kind of Kind of cool. So that connects that island up, which makes it look, in my opinion, a little bit, a little bit nicer. Oh, and I guess what I could have been doing. Let's see if there's anywhere else I can do this. Uh, yeah, we'll expand this one. If I had been doing it this way, it would modify that all for me. It's obviously quite a bit more expensive. It's $160, but. Okay, glad I wasn't doing that earlier. That is very expensive to do. Um, okay, so. I was about to check on our mechanic there. So that's open. This is doing well. I think this broke down. That's why there's so many boats here available. Uh, we need to get our signs up now that we have access to all of our islands. Uh, so we'll do a green one right here. And this is... Big island. And that is... I thought we had one here. Did we not? Am I going crazy? I thought I put one there. Okay. Let me make sure I've... I've got them everywhere. So, welcome to... Bigger Island on both sides there. That's a welcome to Big Island. I need one here as well.
And then I need one welcoming them all the way back to Slender Island. Okay, there we go. That should be all of our signs taken care of. And that completes our park up a little bit nicer, in my opinion. You've got the three main islands all connected up, and then they can work their way back to the main entrance. So, I like how that came out. And I want to build a ride for you guys. Um, what do we have? Let's build a coaster. Um, we've got Wooden Crazy Rodent and Mine Train. Let's do a Mine Train. I think that would fit well on this island with somewhat of our our pirate theme. Uh, it does say, if you guys remember, um, I'll pull it back up, that it's all about fast, smooth, twisted track and can be improved considerably by adding tunnels. So I want to make this thing kind of go in and out a bunch on this island. Um, where I'm going to start it, I don't know yet, but... Oh, it's getting dark. We'll do it right here. I think this would look good. And we can drop it right here. And then... So, yeah, we've got to go underground. Um, and to do that, it's going to take a little bit of land modifying here. So... I'm going to have to raise these up, I believe. And that should... This piece, too. That should do the trick. Okay. And so now we are underground. Uh, and this is going to be... This right here will add excitement to the ride. So... Uh, where do I want this to come out of? I guess we'll go right up this way. And again, it's going to be some land modifying. Because any ride that you do tunnels on is going to get slightly expensive as far as the changes you have to make to the land. So, But I think this will be really cool looking when it's all said and done. I want it to go in and out of the land quite a bit. Um, I am definitely going to have to take out even more of a loan. Oh, on this park, it's a $20,000 loan. I can't. Okay, so the loan value changes, or the loan cap changes on different parks. That is... Oh, boy. Okay. Um, <laughs> so this might be a on-pause kind of ride. <laughs> I don't know how quickly we'll be able to make money to get this thing built. Uh, we're actually going to level that out and turn it. So I want to do a, a steep drop back down. I guess I could have left that tree there. Oops. Oh yeah, this is... Okay, my plans for this ride are going to be changing drastically. Um, it's going to be a lot shorter than I anticipated. And that's okay. Maybe this will be a kind of a miniature ride. Not as crazy intense as I was planning. And the land's going to be constantly in our way here. Yeah, we're. this is an expensive ride. I wish I had taken that into consideration before deciding to build this. Or I wish I had checked my loan. $276 to make one turn. I could spend a grand just making a loop. Man, okay, so we're just going to have to weave this back around, go back out, and then loop back around. A lot less glamorous than I was anticipating. But, you know, you can't always... Can I do this underground? No, the land is in my way. Um, what if I were to go... Actually, I want this to be wider so it lines up. There it was wider. We're going to make it even wider. There we go. 
because I want it to come up and out of the land right here. Oh my goodness. And so begins the waiting game. Actually, we might have to go do a steep up right here. And then over. Yeah, just so we can clear that. Okay, not the prettiest or most exciting ride so far. Um, but that's what happens when you don't plan ahead. <laughs> like I didn't do. Oh, and it just rolled over into a new week and we lost money. Yeah, it takes... Uh, I don't know what it's taking. I think it... Any ride or stall or I think even staff for that matter... Um, it says it's $55 per month, but I believe you pay it out uh, four times per month, so every week. Um, I think that's how it works. Man, people want to... Was that they can't afford it? Is that what I was reading? I'm not paying that much. I'm not paying that much. Will we go on it if it's 80 cents? Because that's we're losing money with that thing right now. Is it still too expensive? Okay, some people are going on it now. Sorry, I'm just trying to kill time while we wait for this. Wait for this ride to become buildable. Which I think that is going to line up. Now we need to go wide. And that works out perfectly with the edge of our park there. And... Jeez. Oh, we're just waiting and waiting and waiting. And I think that station length is fine. We will have two trains. Um, I think that's the max we can do. The good thing about this is it's getting cheaper as we build it. Uh, we do want to do one thing of brakes at 18 miles per hour. Oh, 62 more dollars and we could finish it. And we're done. Yay. Um, that is far less exciting than what I had anticipated. Um, and this, even though it's going to cost me money to fix, I think this looks awful. Um, this needs to go... Oh... Uh... <laughs> this is a struggle, guys. Come on, make me money. Swindle them out of their money, please. I need it. 520 a pop. That's crazy. Uh, but yeah, I think this looks really bad. Just sticking out of the ground like that. So we're going to try to connect it back up. Is the land in my way? No, I need to do that. There we go. That looks, in my opinion, a lot better. Um, mine train is our only option. Uh, and these green trains look kind of interesting, but I think it would be good. Kind of like a, a red. Actually, let's do one red and one green. Actually, I think I'm stealing this idea from, uh, what was it? Dynamite Blaster on Dynamite Dunes. Um, oh, that's, I don't like that. <laughs> we'll just keep those black. Vehicle 2 will be red, and I think all the rest are red. Yeah. So the caboose will be one color. What isn't... Oh, I didn't build entrance and exit. That's my bad. I got all excited about being finished. I didn't actually finish it, so... <laughs> uh, and we'll do the exit right there. Oh, man. Goodbye, trees. All of them. Although, luckily, we have the money to do that, so. And this is just going to go right there. And then the exit will connect up right there. So, that works out nicely. Um, we need to make sure we have a mechanic for this island. Um, we'll have him go just here for now. This guy's probably going to end up covering this entire island uh, by the end of it. 
just because I'm sick of being broke and not having money to do anything. So, uh, so our trains are green in the front and red in the back. I like that. Uh, two trains, seven cars per train. That works for me. And then the color scheme, I think, is fine. Uh, the gray, what is that? Oh, you can change the color of the, the rails. That's kind of cool. I like that gray. It looks... Actually, I think that I like the white better. It makes it look like metal. Uh, so does the gray, but the white looks, in my opinion, a little nicer. So we're going to stick with that. Uh, and then I like the color of that. It's, it's wood colored. So wood is good. Okay, uh, let us go ahead and give this a test run. We'll see how it goes. goodness that ride is so short it has one drop it loops around and comes back it's so quick that is not at all what i wanted to do with this ride i will make sure to build another uh mine train coaster at some point but this one is very underwhelming and that's purely because of my budget so i apologize for that uh we have almost met our goal though we need 750 guests by october year three so i think we'll be okay um yeah that is a not so exciting ride oh well we can charge 280 for it and we'll name this one actually no not the Pirate's Booty. <laughs> I was going to say the Pirate's Booty, but that kind of conveys the wrong kind of booty. So I think Pirate's Booty is just fine. And we'll do leave if another train arrives because, oh my goodness, this is so short. But that will work. Pirate's Booty is now open for business. And I'm hoping people spread out. I mean, I think people are fairly dispersed right now. We just have not that many guests in our park. So they're all kind of in rides and spread out. But with the size of our park, spreading them out really keeps them somewhat tight still. Or somewhat sparse. Not tight. Uh, we'll do this here. Where did I put that one on the other one? On the opposite side? That's fine. They're not all going to be identical. Because this one right here, we have a ride in the way, I think. Yeah. So we'll rotate this around and put it on the back there. That's fine. Uh, is there any fitting music for this ride? Wild West style is fine. I don't know what else would be kind of pirate Certainly not that. Okay, Wild West it is. Sorry, I was just briefly sampling all of those. Um, I don't know what I want to do right now. We don't have too much money. We have a little bit of time. Um, no, we don't. It is almost the end of October. All right, guys, I think that's going to do it for this episode. Uh, sorry for the underwhelming build. Uh, we're going to have to hold off a little bit on building anything too extravagant until we get some more money. Uh, we just don't have the funds to do much of anything right now. Um, not paying that much. 
Yeah, so I don't know. Actually, I want to try something. Um, I've heard this works. I've never really done it because I think it's kind of cheap, but I just want to try it just to see. So right now, uh, it has an excitement rating of 1.18. So by our logic, we could be able to charge a dollar and 10 cents. However, our guests are currently not wanting to pay that much to go on this. I wonder if I take Seahorse Haven and I say goodbye to it and then I rebuild Seahorse Haven. Uh, where were we at? Right there, I think. With the entrance here, the exit there. And we reopen Seahorse Haven at a dollar and ten cents. Gotta wait till we get test results back for people to adjust how much they want to pay. It's also raining, so that might be a factor. Okay, both those people were broke, so they just didn't have the money to go on it. But I think if I demolish it and rebuild it, that the game treats it as a new ride. Uh, so it's not affected by... What color did I have that? I think it was that. Uh, it's not affected by basically degradation of its excitement. Uh, like, when I first build it, it's exciting, and the stats stay the same, but people stop wanting to pay as much to go on it. Uh, I just wanted to test that to see if it would work. I'm not planning on doing that. I think it's kind of cheap. Um, I will just lower my prices as we go. This is just because it's raining. Yeah. Jeez. I would love going on these type of rides when it rains. If you've ever been on a roller coaster while it's raining, it's actually kind of painful. Uh, the water just hits you in the face like little needles. And it doesn't feel so great. It kind of stings the entire time. But... Are people just broke? It looks that way. Uh, I need to make sure my handyman can cover this area. Uh, what was it? 13, I believe? 12? It's someone. There we go. It's this guy. Alright, he should be able to cover all of that now. Okay, guys. Sorry I went on a little bit there after saying I'm going to end this episode. But I'm actually going to do that now. So, thank you guys for watching. Again, sorry for the underwhelming build. Hopefully, next episode I can build a couple smaller things here and there. Uh, and that will allow us to get enough money so that we can do something uh, something big for our last episode. I always like spending pretty much every cent I have left, or at least trying to, on a one final coaster for my park. So, all right. Until next time, stay beautiful, and I will see you guys in the next episode.